it's a hot and muggy one out here on the plains of Kansas. Woo! But enough complaining, right? Uh, I just mentioned that because we never have humidity out here. 12% humidity is pretty normal. The day it's like 63, I think. I'm not used to it. But anyway, you don't care. I'm going to finish up a gate here for my corral. I started this back in the winter and apparently I have lost the footage for the build so far. And I thought, you know what, it'll still be fun to show you uh, me finishing it and installing it in my corral. So basically, I got a frame that I built and, well, two frames, but one is the actual frame that you walk through and the other one is the gate. Anyway, too much talking. I'll uh, show you finishing this build. Now, since it's been so long since I've worked on this, I gotta do a lot of grinding. Gotta do a lot of grinding when you work with oil-filled pipe anyway. But this has literally been sitting in the weeds for six months, I think. Wouldn't it be nice if we get work done twice as fast? Eh, too bad it's not reality. There I am setting up the other camera. It's kind of one thing about having this camera going all the time is I record myself setting up the other camera quite often. So I thought I'd just show that real quick. That angle wasn't very good, so I moved it over here. And that footage of that camera looks like this. Here I'm plasma cutting the rest of the holes in for the rods that will fill in the gate. Got a little jig there I made. Just a piece of pipe that I cut in half and drilled a hole in. So when I go through it with the plasma cutter, the hole is the correct size for the sucker rod to fit in there. Now I don't weld the bottom of these gates completely. I leave just a little bit of a opening. That's what I'm looking for, is seeing which corner. I left. So that's what I'm looking for, is seeing which corner I left not completely welded, so it'll be down. That way the water can come out. And there I'm measuring where the top of the gate's supposed to be. I like the top of my corral to be about five foot eight inches off the ground. And that cross brace down at the bottom is going to be at ground level. So that means the gate will be right there at the mark I just made. And back to more grinding. Seems never ending. Cutting some of the sucker rod to make pins for the hinges here. If you notice those two box ends, those are what hold the sucker rods together in an oil well that run the pump in the bottom of the hole. Uh, if you notice, those two are a little different size, so that's not going to work out very well. And I just cut the top off that sucker rod, so it's just the upset of it. That way it'll stay in, not have that ugly threads on it. And there, I'm just changing the box ends around a little to figure out exactly where they go. And I start spot welding it in place. Now this gate is only going to open one direction. So the hinges are set up a little funky on this. The reason I'm making it open one direction only is because it's going to be right next to my stock tank. And this is the outside of the corral. If they get through this gate, the cows will be out. So it'll open into the corral only. That way if it doesn't quite get latched or something, hopefully a cow will bump it shut, lock herself in, and not exit the corral. And just start welding. If you listen, I'm a little short on wire speed. So I'll actually bump the wire up just a little bit. And here in this close-up, you can really hear that I'm short on wire speed. That's 
Still not a bad weld though, even though I'm a little not right on wire speed. Here I came up on wire speed and I think the weld looks a little bit better. And open the gate and weld those spots I couldn't reach. It was actually amazing that I could weld outside because we almost never have a calm day out here in northwest Kansas. If I'm welding outside, I usually have to stick weld. And while I was doing that, Grandpa stopped in to talk to me. And I actually left the camera running the entire time he talked to me but he was too far away and he talks too quietly. I couldn't understand anything he said on the camera. Okay. Okay, I'll grab it here shortly then. Which is kind of sad because he actually told me some pretty good stories. On this side, my holes were off a little bit, I had a lot of gap, so I ended up filling with the settings on the MIG welder quite a bit to fill them in. A little aggravating. But the nice thing about the MIG welder, it's real easy to fill in gaps. And here I'm just setting my jig up again so I can cut the holes in for the latch. We got these clouds rolling in. I looked on radar and sure enough, there's actually rain in it and it's coming straight at us. Well, once again, my friends, we're without electricity. Thought something was wrong with my welder and then I'm like, wait a second, I turned on the lights earlier. So I don't know what to do. I'm guessing the lightning hit something. Either that or World War III broke out, and I don't know it. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I can do. Um, I gotta make these little pieces for the the latch, the striker plate, and all that. I can do. I think all that without electricity. So I'm not gonna film that. Um, and uh, I'll just come back when I have them made, I guess. <laughs> I'll just show you how these latches are built anyway. Piece of 7 8 rod. I grind the flats on it real quick. If I had a mill, I'd probably mill them. Uh, this is one inch inside diameter tubing. It's not actually, you know, just regular pipe. It's seamless tubing. There's no seam in there. Uh, one inch shaft and a 7 16 bolt. And I have to add just a little bit more thread to the bolt. A little spring, and then there's a plug made from a one-inch shaft with a slightly over sixteenths hole drilled in it for here. So pretty simple. I have a couple little jigs made up so I can get everything welded up square and nice. Uh, but anyway, to set this in there, I like to push it in to the point where the threads are flush back here with the back of the thing um, and there's tension on there. It kind of helps keep the gate from rattling in the wind. So that'll be the depth at which I set it. The electricity finally came back on about an hour later. So back to welding.
bit of oil in the latch. And I thought I showed the gate closing, but apparently I shut off the camera before I did. I'm going to grind off that pipe and put on the caps for the top. Once again, I think I get this done twice as fast. If I had another me. Someday I'm going to get myself a clone. I weld on these feet, keep it from sinking into the ground. I don't put a whole lot of weld on these, maybe inch long on each side if that. Just enough to keep them in place until I get it set in the ground. And flip it over. Finish the welds that I can reach. And I'm quitting just in time because that wind is really starting to blow my gas away. So thanks for watching, and you all will see this installed whenever I get it in the corral. I'll make a video about that.